Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? How's it going, everybody? YouTube, I love you guys. I love everybody out there. And it is... It's Friday. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. And I'm out here in the... Uh, the ditch. The love canal, so to speak. You know, it's funny, man. I found myself complacent. And the worst thing about complacence is it's so easy to forget when you're happy. When everything is great, you tend to forget everything else. And then when something slips, man, all of a sudden, boom, that, that wheelbarrow full of shit just gets spilled in your face. Now you got to deal with it head on. And you know what, guys? It sucks. But that's when you have to realize that, you know, uh, you know, someone may say, hey, Pies, man, what are you out here, you know, breaking your in back for? You know what? I'm breaking my back for God. Because the devil's trying to break my soul. And I can't have that happen. I, I That's what focus is all about. That's what happens when we find ourselves um, complacent, man. Complacent, complacent, complacent. When you find yourself a little too happy and you find yourself, you got a little too much, man, you're missing something. You're really missing something. And it's, excuse me, it's just easy to get caught up in complacency. I found myself caught up. And, you know, I am... Someone showed me something. This is all about learning, and I'm always about learning something, guys. You know, she told me to take two verses from the Bible and put them in my pocket. Write them down and just put them in your pocket. And when things start to get bad, you know, when you find yourself complacent, and you find the adversary kind of got you down, kind of got you sad or mad or angry, you know, because when you're sad or when you're mad or when you're angry or when you're anything, but in tune with God, then the adversary is striking because he's going to keep you unfocused. Then more unfocused you are, the harder it is to get back to where you were. That's why complacency can be a, a bad word. It can be a bad thing. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm glad that, you know, I had to figure out, I had to learn something. You have to learn that complacency is uh, it's not a place you want to be and that's kind of what I'm learning that complacency f put me into a spot and um, that in itself um, was something different man uh, I found myself complacent happy you know uh, that's the problem you think you know it all but we don't and when you get complacent or when he starts getting in there and you start becoming unfocused or you can't think straight He's working his magic in your ass. He's working on you hardcore. He knows. He knows that if he can keep you distracted long enough to keep you angry, sad, jealous, um, envious, whatever he can keep you in a way that isn't right with God, it serves his purpose and not yours. So, you know, today just a little talk on complacency, man. I don't. I don't like getting complacent. I don't. Bam, pal. Boom. That's a. That's a pain in my neck, and I don't need that. You know, I'm out here in God's country, and uh, I'm going through some things still. And I'll go through things every single day, guys, because, you know, the, the more, the greater the suffering, the better the reward. And uh, I'm suffering for God, and I like it. And if I'm going to suffer for anything, it's God, you know what I mean? Because the one thing about the devil is he loves to keep trying to kick your ass. Now, if I wanted to get my ass kicked, folks, I'd just go home. You know what I'm saying? So I don't got time for all that. So... I want to thank all the people out there who, who can really pick someone up when they're down. And if you can help me, then you can help someone else. And that's the whole thing about God, being able to help someone else for for what? You know what I mean? Um, hey, look, if I wasn't digging in this fucking hole, I'd be going nuts. So, complacency, okay? Focus is what's more important because this is a battle. And it's not just a battle for your life. It's a battle for your soul and if anybody asks you what's more important than your life well your soul and what's more important than your soul knowing whose hands it's in that's important I love God with all my heart and my soul guys do me a favor if you got a minute can you join me in the Lord's Prayer I'd really appreciate it you know our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Won't you give us this day, dear Lord, our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, dear Lord, but deliver us from evil. For thine truly is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, ever and ever and 
ever. And I love you guys. And I love God that much more. Amen. And thank you. Jordan Pies, Bob. Regular old guy you see at the liquor store. Actually, I don't drink, so you never see me at the liquor store. Um, getting a cup of coffee. That's where you probably see me. All right. I love you. Thank you. From God's country, from way out, way out, way out here, guys. Thank you so much. I love you. And uh, stay motivated and not complacent. Stay focused on God. Okay? Thank you so much for joining me. Amen. I appreciate everybody out there just, just for watching, man. I'm a regular guy, you know. I really don't give a shit about a view. I'm really just trying to help somebody, anybody, one person. And if it was you, thank you. And thank the Lord. And I praise God. And I praise Jesus, my Lord and Savior, with everything I got. I'm nothing and I'm no one without them. I wear my heart on my sleeve and my faith on my face. That's who I am. That's what I do. That's my job. All right? Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate it, guys. All right? Peace out, Mendo Love, man.